Welcome fellow action figure collectors to another episode of Beyond the Card Back. I'm Trooper TK314 and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Return of the Jedi Black Series, Princess Leia. That's right guys, today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series, Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. So let's go ahead and head over to the toy table and get a closer look. And here she is in the package and she's looking great. Once again, we get that nice, beautiful side art, which I think is great. On the back, there is a little bit of a bio that says Princess Leia Organa rendezvoused with the Rebel fleet and helped organize a plan to destroy the Empire's new Death Star. They would head to Endor and knock out the space station's shield generator. And here she is, guys, out of the box. And I have to say, this is a very stunning figure. That face sculpt is on point. This has got to be one of the best Princess Leia's we've ever received. Uh, not that I'm biased, this is actually one of my favorite outfits for Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. But I mean, look at that face sculpt. She looks great. The soft goods are good. As Just like Han Solo, it's a little wrinkly. I might take a little heat to it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories she comes with and a closer look at that articulation. Accessory wise, she does come with her blaster, which is very, very nice. Um, not that much detail as in extra paint, just a little bit of silver there on the muzzle. But it does look good and it is exactly like the one she carried in Return of the Jedi. But the selling feature for this figure has got to be that face sculpt. Look at that. That is beautiful. This has got to be one of the best face sculpts we've received. And the helmet does come off. It is actually pinged right over here. There's a little knob right there. It goes up under her ear and you can let that go. And of course you can pull the helmet off. The helmet itself is actually very nice. You can see the detail on it right there. The weathering, the symbols. Look at that, that's cool. So even the helmet is very detailed. And look at the hair, it's just like it was in the movie. Absolutely beautiful. But looking at her poncho, you can see that it is highly detailed. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. I like that it's soft goods. It kind of uh, bat wings right there on the shoulders, but I'm sure if you put some water on it and a little bit of hairspray, you could mold it how you want to. But it is just a little wrinkly out of the box. Um, it does have a hood, but the hood is sewn onto the poncho. Which I guess if you wanted to put the hood up on her, you could. You could just cut that little uh, piece of... I can't think of what that's called. Oh my goodness. You could just cut that. But looking down at her pouches, you can see there's some detail right there. Not much weathering, but there is some texturizing right there on the holster, so that looks good as well. And then moving down to the legs, she looks good. No real paint defects on mine, so I'm happy with that. And then looking at her boots, and you do have the different color soles. And there's actually an alternate look for this character, and I'm going to show you that right now. The belt actually pops off right there, and you can take it out of the poncho so that you can take the poncho off of her. And the belt just slides through those little things, pull the poncho off, and then of course you've got a little bit of a cutout right there at the waist, but that is so that you can put the belt back on her. And of course it has just a little clip. And there you go. And you have an alternate look for this Princess Leia figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of her articulations. She's able to look up that far she can look down. Of course, you can pull the exorcist and do a 360 on her. And then looking at her arms, they go up this far on both sides. They rotate 360. And she has also got the pinless joints. And she gets a little bit more than 90 on the left and a little bit more than 90 on the right. And then for her wrist, she has one that goes up and down or side to side. And then her trigger finger her trigger hand goes up and down and then that's really cool too her little wrist communicator that's nice detail right there as well but moving down to her waist she is on a ball hinge so you get pretty good movement right there pretty good swivel and of course it rotates 360 and it clicks at each interval but then once again looking at her belt the detail is nice 
Of course, it will hold her blaster. You just sludge right in there. Boom. There you go. Looking at our legs, she kicks out amazing. I mean, look at that. Come on, Marvel Legends, let's get with it. Hasbro, put this on Marvel Legends. Um, she does have a thigh swivel at both sides, and it rotates all the way around, but it does have that line, so you don't really, really want to break it. But that is on both sides. Looking at her knees with the pinless joints, she gets some great bend in her knees. And they also rotate 360, but I don't know why you would do that. Uh, there's no rotation at the boot top. And then looking down at her ankles, they do hinge back, hinge forward, and forward facing pin for rocker. Just for fun, here she is with the only other Princess Leia that I own, which is the Star Wars Black Series 40th Anniversary A New Hope. And as you can see, the face sculpt on A New Hope needs an update, but they're still both very beautiful figures. They'll fit right into your collection. I have to say that the Return of the Jedi Leia is my favorite. Um, you can see they both have the same blaster. The newest one does have the silver muzzle. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There's a link in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And may the Force be with you.